Okay, here we are in section 2.5. The answer is 9 through 15. Here we have this first one. We're going to get rid of any parentheses we have. So let's jump that guy in. 2.4x minus 1.6 equals 9.5x plus 1. We don't have any fractions to worry about. We could get rid of these decimals if we wanted to. Times everything by 10, and that would get rid of the decimals. I'm going to forego that and just combine terms right now. Let's subtract this 2.4x to get the x's together. Do that on both sides. We have negative 1.6 equals 7.1x plus 1. Uh, now we're down here to number 2. Add and subtract. So we subtract the 1. 7.1x equals negative 2.6. Make sure when you're subtracting that you realize they're going both in the same direction. And then divide by 7.1 and we get x equals negative 0.366. Number 10, here we have 0.2x minus 7 plus 2x equals 3x minus 5. Now we don't have any parentheses or fractions, so we can just start combining. Now these two are on the same side, so we just put them together. So that's 2.2x minus 7 equals 3x minus 5. Now we just add them together. It's just combining like terms. There's nothing special about that. But when we try to get this x and that x together, that's when we have to subtract something from both sides of the equal sign. So we get negative 7 equals 0.8x minus 5. So now when we um, add 5 to both sides, we're down here at step number 2. 0.8x equals negative 2. Divide by 0 0.8. Divide by 0 0.8 and we get that x equals negative 2.5. Number 11, we don't have any parentheses, we don't have any fractions, but we do need to combine these, so let's subtract 0.4m, subtract 0.4m, and we get 70 equals 11.6m. We don't have anything to add or subtract, so we just divide by 11.6, divide by 11.6, and we get m equals 6.8. 0, 3. Number 12. We jump this 5 in here. You get 5x minus 25 minus x equals 4x minus 20. Combine the things over here and we have 4x's minus 25 equals 4x minus 20. Oh, you may realize something fishy is going on. Let's try to combine those x's together now onto the same side of the equal sign and we're left with negative 25 equals negative 20. That never happens. No solution. That can't have it happen. Negative 25 equaling negative 20. Silly. All right. Number 13. Let's first uh, get rid of any parentheses. So jump that through. So we have 9x minus 4x plus 12. Remember that's a plus because it's a minus 4 timesing in through a minus 3 equals 15x plus 7. That's 5x plus 12 equals 15x plus 7. Okay, now we combine both of these together, subtract 5x, subtract 5x, just to get the x's all together, and we get 12 equals 10x plus 7. Subtract 7, and we get 10x equals 5. Divide both sides by 10, and we get x equals 5 over 10, or 1 half. And number 14. 8x minus 12x plus x, that's going to be a negative 3x, equals 9x plus 8x, that's 17x. Um, combine these x's together, so add 3x to both sides. So we get 0 equals 20x. We have nothing to add or subtract, so now we divide. Divide by 20, divide by 20, and we get x equals 0. Notice how number 14 is different from number 12. Here the x's went completely away. Here we still had an x, and that x equals one particular number. It's very different than the no solution and all real number problems we've had. Okay, number 15. I have three colors of paint. Blue, green, and yellow. The number of gallons of blue is five more than twice the number of green. The number of gallons of yellow paint is three less than seven times the numbers, number of green. Altogether, I have 82 gallons of paint. Okay, so let's highlight that. That's all together. How many of each color? 
So we really need to find out how many blue, how many green, and how many yellow. We've got three different equations here, three di well, three different colors, and we're going to be um, trying to put these together. So let's translate this. All together, I have 82 gallons of paint. That means that blue plus green plus yellow has to equal 82 gallons. However, a couple of helpers on this, it says the number of gallons of blue right there, blue equals five more than, okay, there's five more than, that's a plus five, twice the number of green. Ooh, that's, that's important, so right there. So really, blue is five more than twice the number of green. So when we write this out, we're going to have two green plus five for the blue. All right, the number of yellow gallons yellow is equals three less than okay so three less than remember that subtraction but it's subtracting three three less than seven times the number of green so seven times the number of green and then three less than that so yellow is seven times the number of green minus three so this is what substitution is we take this and put it right in there we take the yellow and put it right in there and we get blue plus the green plus the yellow all has to add up to 82 gallons of paint. And look at this, happy math land. We have an equation that we can solve. We all know all about how to do that. Let's put all these together. Two green, three, that's 10 green. Uh, plus five minus three, that's a plus two. So here I've just combined like terms on this left-hand side of the equation. And I know that has to equal 82. If we subtract 2 and subtract 2, we get 10g equals 80. And then we can divide by 10. Divide by 10. The number of green is 8. That is part of our answer. So the number of green is 8. So now we come back here. Let's use green. And we say, now, wait a minute. So if that's 8, then blue is going to be 2 green plus 5, or if you want to look at it up here, 5 more than twice the number of green. So 16 plus 5, that means blue is 21. And let's put the green right there. It'll tell us how many yellows we have. 7 times the number of green, that's 7, 8, that's 56, minus 3. So yellow is 53. So there's the rest of our answer. We have 21 blue, 53 gallons of yellow, and 8 gallons of green. Good.